If I handed you an atlas of all the viruses on the planet, would your platform make it easier to have vaccines on the shelf quicker? Absolutely, yes. And you just hit the exact conversation that we had with Tony Fauci's team last year, looking ahead at several dozen potential viruses that could be pandemic threats that are known. The question is, how do we leverage the ability of this platform to react very quickly to solve exactly that problem? Since it's a new method, one would expect this to be very valuable intellectual property. Is this a technology that you're going to patent? Is this a technology that you're going to make open source uh, and available to people around the world? So uh, this is a highly valuable technology, one that had required uh, billions of investment and years of effort by a uh, private enterprise. I think our goal is to ensure that it's accessible to those who need it the most. Sure. But in our book, I don't think that necessarily mandates donating IP. What are the conversations about how price will make it accessible for everyone? It's premature for us to talk about price. If we're able to get a vaccine that will prevent infection and will prevent disease, the value to society is gonna be enormous. The flip side, of course, is for that value to be maximized, you wanna make sure that everybody has access to it, including those who can't afford it and those who can't afford it. Those are not solely my questions to answer. In the context of a pandemic, uh, I think the government and a dialogue with other governments is gonna play a key role in, in, in how one secures access.